Welcome guys and girls to another interview question answer video. In today's video, we are going to go over questions uh, for junior, associate level or for freshers or who are looking for their first cloud job. They must absolutely know these uh, answers. Also, for those of you who are experienced, I'm curious uh, to see how many of these questions you folks can correctly answer. For those of you who are new to the channel, my name is Raj. I'm a senior specialist SA at AWS. I'm also a best-selling Udemy and Pluralsight author, public speaker, and guest lecturer. All right, with that being said, let's get started. Question number one, name two AWS services from each area, compute, storage, and network. So for each question, if you want, pause the video and think about it for a minute and then unpause to see the answer. Uh, so for compute, two AWS services are Lambda and EC2. Uh, for storage, two AWS services are S3 and EBS or Elastic Block Storage. And for network, two AWS services are VPC or Virtual Private Cloud and CloudFront. So think if you can name one more, what if the interviewer asks you three AWS services instead of two? Can you still answer this? Uh, let me know in the comment section. Let me know what services you are thinking. Uh, next question. How to ensure you do not go over a certain budget for AWS bill? Very common question. A lot of you probably think about this uh, when you start uh, creating an AWS account. So the way to do that is using AWS budgets. So in AWS budgets, you could say, um, I want to pay a maximum of $20 uh, for this AWS bill for, for uh, this month. And you could also say if the projected bill reaches 80% of my budget, so $16. Uh, you can get alerted and you can also act on it. And so when you create a alert, uh, it can do a SNS topic and you can fire a Lambda to go shut down EC2 instances, uh, kill load balancer, etc. You can also say there are a lot of third-party tools in the market, such as Cloud Health, uh, which can do similar functionality. Next question, what is the alternative of doing everything from console? So you go to console, uh, you spin up your EC2, create Lambda, delete them, etc. So what are the alternative? Uh, so the alternative is you can use AWS CLI. Uh, so instead of going to console and creating everything, you can run AWS CLI commands and create uh, resources, destroy, update, etc. You can also use AWS SDK and using AWS SDK, you can call AWS APIs from your uh, code uh, to do this uh, AWS provisioning, update, delete, etc. Also, going one step further, another way to do that is using DevOps. Uh, so you can use some infrastructure as code, such as CloudFormation, Terraform, and uh, run them in a DevOps pipeline to provision infrastructure, deploy your code, update, delete, etc. Next question. Name, spa, name some region-specific and global AWS services. Uh, so region-specific means the particular service is only running in a specific region, and the global means it's not bound to a region. So whenever you think about a region-specific service, always think of compute, uh, because one compute server can only run in one region. Uh, so the example could be C2, Lambda, Elastic Kubernetes Service, and some of the global AWS services are uh, IAM, CloudFront. So you could tell if a service is regional or global uh, by going to the service, let's say I'm in EC2, and on the top right, you would see a region. So that means this service is a regional service. Uh, similarly, if I go to Lambda, uh, on the top right, you still see the region. That means it's a regional service. But if I go to IAM, You'll see on the top right, it is global, similarly for CloudFront. Global. Uh, so this way you can, you can also explore some of the other services, which are regional, global, global, and you can name your own. So next question, obviously in interview, we're not gonna get all of this, but you, there's a high chance you will get asked some of this. Uh, so think about it, what is the AWS services for metrics? Um, so CloudWatch is the AWS services for metrics, logs. So this is a little tricky one. Application logs go to CloudWatch, but your infrastructure logs go to CloudTrail. So uh, if you spin up AC2 or you go delete AC2, those 
logs of who is doing all this stuff goes to CloudTrail. Uh, but if you have an application running inside that EC2 and the application is writing logs, those logs will go to CloudWatch. So what is the AWS service for object storage? S3, block storage, elastic block storage or EBS. So EBS you can attach with EC2. So uh, think of it like your hard disk, your hard disk that's running on your desktop, laptop is a block storage as well. So the equivalent uh, service is EBS. Next one is easy, VM or virtual machine. Uh, so EC2 is the virtual machine for AWS. Authentication and authorization. So this service is IAM or identity and access management. Uh, using IAM, uh, you can uh, give certain users access to certain service as well as what they can do in that service. A NoSQL database, DynamoDB, SQL database, Amazon Aurora. Next question, so this one is very popular in the junior level interview. What is your favorite AWS service and why? So I'm curious, let me know in the comment section, what is your favorite AWS service and why is it your favorite? And I'll take a look and give feedback on your answers. So the why is very important. Uh, so you should not say, for example, I like Elastic Beanstalk because it is very powerful, because it doesn't answer why you really like it. So the interviewer are gonna ask you, why do you think it's powerful? What are the features? So yeah, put it in the comment. I'll, I'll take a look uh, for some of the comments and try to give my feedback. Next question, name some AWS services that can secure your application. Uh, so this is a very, very critical question, especially if you are giving an interview in enterprises uh, or high security organizations such as uh, financial services, public sector, etc. Uh, they will ask you this question. So there are multiple AWS services. So we already uh, talked about one IAM, Identity Access Management. Beyond that, uh, to secure your data using encryption, you can use uh, KMS. So using KMS keys, you can encrypt your data at rest. You have Amazon Certificate Manager to store SSL certificate using which you can encrypt your data at transit, authentication authorization, IAM, as well as Cognito, you can save user ID password in Cognito. And beyond that, there are general security threat. For example, uh, DDoS, injection, SQL injection attack, etc. So for that, you have web application, firewall, guard duty, uh, Amazon detective, etc. So study up AWS security services, at least three to four main ones. Next question, how will you scale your application running in EC2, Kubernetes, Lambda. So you folks probably know the EC2 one. So EC2 one is you do that using auto scaling group. Uh, using auto scaling group, you can scale your EC2s based on a threshold for CPU or memory or some other metrics. Or you can just auto scale based on some schedule like nine o'clock, you expect traffic to go up, you can schedule your EC2s. Kubernetes, how do you scale? So you can scale Kubernetes pods using HPA or horizontal pod autoscaler, and you can scale Kubernetes worker nodes using CA or cluster autoscaler. Lambda, so that's a trick one. There is nothing to configure for scaling in Lambda. For each of the traffic connection, Lambda will automatically scale. So for each traffic connection, another Lambda instance will come up. So one Lambda instance can only handle uh, one incoming traffic. So keep that in mind. So if someone says, hey, how do you configure uh, auto scaling group for Lambda? There is no auto scaling group. And so don't say that, oh, I will configure auto scaling group for Lambda. Next question, uh, name three services to run your code in AWS. Have you used any of these? So these are definitely compute services. So when it comes to Cloud, three main areas are compute, network, and storage. And within this, compute is the most important one because every application you talk about, the heart of the application and all the business logic is actually uh, in the code which runs in the compute services. So three services you can name EC2, Lambda, if you want to go further, Elastic Kubernetes Service or EKS, ECS, Elastic Container Service. We have App Runner, we have LightSail, Etc. Uh, have you used any of these? So you should at least use one uh, if you get asked this. So definitely try EC2 and you can try Lambda. 
So Kubernetes is a little bit difficult to do. You can also try App, App Runner or LightSail if you're interested. Uh, but as long as you do EC2 and Lambda, you should be okay. Next question, what are three ways to run Kubernetes in AWS? So Kubernetes is super hot right now. So easy answer is EKS or Elastic Kubernetes Service. Another way to run is ROSA or Red Hat OpenShift for AWS, which run Kubernetes with the opinionated tools. And what is the third option? Can you folks think about the third option? Uh, if, you, if you know, put it in the comment if you want. So third option is running self-managed Kubernetes on EC2. So you do not need to use EKS or ROSA. If you don't want to, if you want to manage the control plane, then you can run self-managed Kubernetes just on vanilla EC2. So another question that comes up a lot is, uh, what is AWS region? What is availability zone and what is point of presence? So you can look up the official AWS uh, documentation. So make sure you study that because that's also very, very common, but I didn't include it. I just wanted to show you this page. Let me know if there are other uh, interview questions that you want me to answer. Put them in the comment section. Uh, please click this uh, like button, subscribe, and all that good stuff. It really helps the channel grow. All right, folks, that's it for this one. I'll see you guys and girls in the next video. Bye.